Orkney, there's an old saying that if you scratch the surface, it bleeds archaeology, and that is true. There's archaeology everywhere, but particularly here in the middle of the main island, central mainland. So six eight. Six eight with a stone in. Eight one, all of that. All of these stones are pretty horizontally orientated. It's another beautiful summer's day during our short six weeks excavation season. This year, like all the others, has been exceptional with what we've uncovered. The amazing structures you can just glimpse behind me. We're now getting down onto floor deposits and really getting an inkling about how these structures function. Archaeologists uh, are not really after treasure, we're after the whole story. So it's the whole package that we see, but I don't think there's an archaeologist here who would deny that yesterday's discovery and similar ones really still fill you with a sense of awe and wonder. Beach. <laughs> First from the site. This is a carved stone ball and this is possibly one of only a handful that have ever been found. They are incredibly rare, they're like hen's teeth, and they're even more rare in an archaeological context. And it is just stunning. And it's complete. Nobody's quite sure what they're used for, lots of different theories, but the, the intricacy of the designs on some of them, there's very, very fine spirals that cover these kind of raised knobs but you find them with a huge array of different configurations of knobs and kind of raised panels within it. Uh, this one will be sent off for conservation uh, and who knows what might lie lurking beneath this mud. The theories vary from the sublime to the ridiculous but the beauty, beauteous nature of these items and their kind of rarity value probably mean that they had quite a high status value and maybe these are items which were only the the upper echelons of society were allowed to actually have one, a kind of symbol of power. <laughs> that, that's one of the, only about two stone balls that have been found in yeah. context. <laughs> and, and where that actually is as well is really, really important. Mm -hmm. So it's an you know, absolute amazing find. I think the archaeologists dream to actually be able to see what these people were thinking, see how they went about their daily lives and also the, the rituals and belief systems, uh, every aspect of their life. If we could have a time machine to take us back 5,000 years ago, wow, what a wonderful Christmas present that would be.